Oil prices edging higher this morning. Crude oil prices looking to recover from the 21 percent sell off over the past month. Phil Flynn is standing by at the CME Group in Chicago. Phil, despite today's gains, we are still looking at oil trading well below $50 a barrel. What do you make of it right now? Well, you know, I'll tell you what. I mean, obviously, it's a, a greater deflationary play, and we've seen it across the entire commodity complex. And a lot of that deflation fear is coming right out of China. We did see the China Shanghai composite rally a little bit overnight. That's given commodities a little bit of a boost. You know, in a sense, it basically, you know, maybe this market's a little bit overdone. I mean, the month of July, we had the biggest sell-off in the price of oil since 2008. Uh, and we yesterday, we saw a lot of fear trade. We saw a lot of money running into the bond market. Markets, you know, on, on fears of deflation. So we're getting a little bit of a bounce. But remember, Sandra, this is the third oil price crash we've had this year. You know, we started the year tanking to 44. You know, we went back up to 50, back to 44, back to 60, back to 45 again. We'll see what happens today. Back All right, to you. Phil, well, I'm feeling like I'm right at home in Chicago right now because I've got you here. I've got Lincoln Ellis on set with me, another Chicago guy. You watch these markets really Lincoln's closely. Lincoln's the man. Yeah, Lincoln is the man. <laughs> what do you make of the everything? Man. <laughs> Uh, look, I think Phil, Phil makes an interesting point. I mean, we have gone up and down a couple of different times, and the price band has been about $20. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the challenge this time is that we really do have, the, as, we, as Anastasia and I talked about earlier, this supply issue mm -hmm. that is now being T-boned by the China volatility stock market issue combined with a global yeah. slowdown in growth. So the IMF and the World Bank have ratcheted their numbers from 3.8 down to 3.2. And so we're producing more really than we ever not. have. Iran oil might come online. And the, and the economic slows. <laughs> you have all of these headwinds. Okay, so how much so lower could oil go from here? At? Four, 40. And this time it okay, doesn't, and it doesn't bounce. All right. And, and you're talking about gasoline prices, right, Kevin? Yeah, gasoline. these lower gasoline prices are here to say, and you can see that through the auto sales. Everybody's starting to go back into SUVs, mini SUVs. You're starting to see all the car manufacturers push those type of products. So there's a lot of conviction that oil prices are going to stay low, and that's really going to impact yeah, gasoline prices going the amazing. I didn't even realize yeah. that. And then I read the other day, oh, if yeah. sales stay on current pace, it's going to be the best auto sales year in the U.S. in like 14 years, to your point. Th that's true. But one interesting point is although we're seeing the strongest numbers, the momentum that we've seen in car sales this year is actually a little bit lower than we saw in the prior years. But anyway, that aside, when we talk about oil prices, there's two things to consider. The supply issue, which, yes, we yeah. talk about. It's, you know, we're posting new highs there. And the demand issue. Demand this year for gasoline has actually been very strong. If you look at refinery utilization, for example, 95% is where we're running at. And this is not just a seasonal peak because, by the way, this week or the next week, we're going to reach a seasonal peak and we're going to pull back from that point forward. But that 95% compares to 92% this time last year. So the point is, yes, we're buying more SUVs and we're driving them. If you look at passenger flights, they're actually more full this year as well. So the demand side of the equation could be the silver line. Well, that kind of happens though. Low prices cure low prices. You know, it's like you start to get $2 gasoline, people are gonna be filling their tanks a lot more and you're gonna see that demand come right. back up and you're gonna probably see oil prices return. It's just the timing is... But, but the issue is that it returns to the top of the range. As Lincoln said, you know, I think we are in that $20 range, $40 to $60. And the reason is because Saudi Arabia essentially shifted the burden of being a swing producer to us. You, small and gas, or, you know, exploration production company, you figure out what you need the cost of production to be and produce that much to prop up the price of oil. Well, what's interesting is last month, the rig counts actually went up. So we had a decline for months, mm -hmm. and now it's going back up. So all those low gas prices, as you guys mentioned, spurring car sales.